Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be all about Solana and a potential trade setup for about a 100% move that we can see playing out using a bit of Fibonacci, Elliott Wave, trying to find some confluence and trying to find some real key levels where we can be entering the market and exiting the market with clear invalidations to say you know when we're wrong and we know when we're right. So guys, if you like the video, give it a like. Of course, any comments and subscriptions are appreciated. Let's get into it. So to add a little bit of context, this was the Elliott Wave count that I've been following for Solana. This was back in May 2023. So last month, really looking at a 335 for Solana to come in and take these lows, really around the $15.83 region. But if we jump back into the charts, you can see we have actually fallen from that $19 region back when we tweeted out and we fell well below the range that we set. But you can see it was a key level here, wicking straight back up to it, now reclaiming the level. But I think this may just be a bit of manipulation, guys, on the lower time frame. I do think we've possibly got one more wave to go to the downside. The The idea remains really the same, looking at a free, free 5 correction to the downside. It's just about identifying, is this fifth wave to the downside done? And I don't think it is. I think we've possibly just got one more wave to go and really just trying to pinpoint where is going to be the best zone we can enter the market for Solana where are we going to be looking to enter for that big 100% move so the first thing that I want to identify here is this big wick to the downside which shows these levels down here are coming into play and people are interested at these levels especially the market makers looking to seek all of this liquidity but Usually when you see these big big wicks to the downside on the left with a little bit of a V-shape there to the right hand side. We're probably going to end up coming in to fill this wick. People long in the market right here. You can see it as an example here. Just this little trend line here. People will have their stops below every single one of those wicks. So if the market's going to go up, I would expect the market maker to at least take these longs out and look for that final flush in the market. So really, when we do look for them final flushes, what I'm going to be using is the trend-based Fibonacci from the top of the start of the correction to the low coming back up to the top. And you can see the 1.272 and the 1.414 coming in at around the $10 and $11 region. So... In my opinion, guys, if we are going to get that flush and we're looking for that wick to get filled to the downside, we're going to be looking for this to just be a free wave move back to the upside, going in for that final kill, five waves. This five waves is going to flush everyone out. People are going to get really bearish saying, you know, we're going to new lows. This is the death. This is the end of Solana when really identifying this zone in advance is going to be the key to maintaining that psychology and potentially lay layering in the bids to possibly DCA or even a leverage position at these levels would not be so bad because you've got your invalidation nice and easy below this $8 region. If you're going to have your bids set at these levels down here and your invalidation down here with your TP up and around the $20, $22 region, you're going to be looking at a nice risk to reward when you're looking at a, a leverage trade. But but what you don't want to be doing is just having one zone where you're going to be layering the bid. You want to have at least two zones because in the past we've seen the market front run positions and front run zones that everyone is waiting for. Potentially using the Fibonacci, everyone might be waiting for this zone. So one thing we can do is using the regular Fibonacci from high to low here, just looking at the negative 27% there. Identify that as another potential zone there, looking at around the $12 to $13 region. And if you look left at this confluence here that we've got coming in and filling this big bullish candle breaker fill, you know, we've, we always look for that on the channel, even if it's on the daily or the weekly or the monthly time frame. We always look for that big bullish breaker candle to come in and get filled at this order blocks here. You can see it was a nice cluster of consolidation. If everyone's going to be waiting for this level down here to enter for Solana, 10 to 11 dollars would it make sense for the market to just come in fill this wick slightly and front run the market front run everyone waiting down here for the bids so that's why you don't want to just have one zone ideally we do get the big flush down here get that best entry but looking at possibly entering some of the bids down the 12 dollar 95 region potentially if the market is going to front run this zone and could this wave get a little bit more complex where we say that this is just your first initial free wave down? Um, everyone starts to enter the bids here. We get a nice free wave back to the upside, back to these liquidity levels. Everyone thinks, you know what, that is a low. 
But all that would do, in my opinion, is just generate a little bit more liquidity down at these levels, more stops on the trend here to come in and be taken at these key levels that we're looking for for Solana. So no matter how complex it gets, guys, I think they are going to be the zones that you're going to be looking for. Identify these zones, $10.37, $11.92. And $12.92, I think them free levels right there, key specific levels, would be good to be having the bid set. Don't matter, you know, if you're looking for leverage, you want to be having a bit of a, a tighter position down here, in my opinion, closer to your invalidation. But if you're looking for spot, looking for them 100% moves, you can be looking at the higher levels here, just to layer in and have your invalidation nice and easy down here below these levels. So we've taken a look at the boring stuff, we've taken a look at the invalidations, the entry levels, but what most people are interested in is the price targets to the upside. So one initial zone that I'm going to point out straight away is, you know, it works both to the downside as it does to the upside when looking for them big bullish breaker candle fills. Looking for these big bearish breaker candle fills down here, up and around the 21 and 20, 22 dollar region. So the first TP, in my opinion, for Solana is going to be around this 21 to 22 dollar region. And if we get them lower levels, that's going to be a nice, nearly a 100% move. So that's where that big range comes into play. Deviating above, deviate, deviating below, panicking, um, getting people euphoric, getting people fearful, and just working the ranges. But this is where we, as a potential medium medium time frame trader and swing trader, can benefit from these moves as these leverage positions get wiped out. We spot it and then look for the move to the upside. And if we just take a simple Fibonacci again from high to a potential low around these levels you can see that the 618 and the 702 come in at around, at around these 21 22 dollar region so that's why that's a, just another little bit of confluence here so even if that was just a another one two a three wave move back to the upside with five waves here and we've got more downside to go we can still benefit by having your tp one two three and leaving the rest to ride so what i'm going to be doing guys is looking to enter the market down at these levels for Solana and potentially looking to have TP123 up and around these 618, 702 and 786. You can draw this Fibonacci out on the chart yourself. You don't need me to do that for you guys. But again, looking at these high liquidity levels, if you're looking potentially to hold that trade out for a little bit more of an upside move, I'm going to be looking for the 1.618 up and around the 36, 37 dollar region. And from there, you know, we could be looking at a nice little inverse head and shoulder here. If you're looking at a left shoulder head right shoulder your neckline is coming down around these levels you know that's where that rejection would come from that trend line one more low then we get the big move to the upside and after that we would potentially be looking for more correction back down to these highs as everyone gets euphoric up and, high, up and around these levels here where these liquidity market makers are going to be taking these liquidity levels a nice simple trend line from this chart here would give us some nice, some more nice targets, manipulation above the trend, coming back down below. These are all things we can anticipate well in advance, but the chart's looking a little bit messy at the minute, guys. So just going to remove all that. Back to basics. It's all about letting the market do the work, letting the market come to you, sitting back, relaxing, and just enjoying the ride and enjoying the waves. So, you know, when we've seen bottoms come in for Solana in the past, we've seen big wicks to the downside, Fill it once, see here, fill once, consolidate, fill again. Would we anticipate a bit of a fill here, consolidate, going for that final kill? That would give us our initial and final wave back down to these levels, back to these bullish break candle fills. It's all the things we're looking for, so lower time frame, looking for that final move down, set your bids. Obviously, it's not financial advice, but I like to have them layered, ready to move back to the upside. Easy invalidations, sitting back, relaxing, and letting the market do the work. So again, guys, not financial advice. If you like the video, give it a like. Any comments, subscriptions appreciated. We are nearly at 1,000, so hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.